So I think uh, we are live now. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for having me on the show. Yeah. So, hey, guys. Hope you had a great day. Uh, welcome to another talk show from Wink Titus. So, today we have with us Anna from Joint from London. So, she runs, uh, you know, Get Savvy Club. So, she's a social media coach. She leverages businesses with a lot of, you know, social media contents and she does a lot of, put in a lot of effort. And I have seen a lot of her videos on, you know, how to get uh, social media marketing and content going on. And we will be discussing a whole lot of things today. So, yeah. you know, keep yourself excited and uh, let's get started. So, and if so you have yeah. any questions or if you have something to share, you can put that in the comment section or the chat. So, we'll be, you know, taking up those at the end, maybe. Excellent. So where, where do you, thank you very much for having me on. Where do you normally put this then? Is it obviously it's on YouTube. Do you post it anywhere else at the same time then? Yeah, no, we just have the YouTube thing. So there oh, are a lot of people who will be joining on the YouTube. Yeah. Brilliant. And then they can ask to comment. They can ask questions as they go along there. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. That's really exactly. good. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, what I've decided to do is I um, went, oh, I've got, I've gone live at the same time on my TikTok. Um, so, um, so if anybody wants to check that out at the same time, they can. It's Anna underscore Get Savvy Club, which I'm on right now. So there's like, how many other people watching on TikTok too? The only bad thing about TikTok is you um you can't uh, keep the live once it's like once it's okay. once the live's done, it disappears, which is good and bad, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so we'll uh, quickly let uh, you know your story begin. So you can just tell your story and how you get started. And then we will go ahead and uh, answer a few questions. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, so um, my background is um, I was worked in, in recruitment for 17 years. So I used to place um, finance, like finance directors, financial controllers, all people right from like uh, Patch Sergeant Clark all the way up to top finance directors in temporary and permanent positions in a recruitment business. Um, so I worked in recruitment just as a recruiter, but then obviously I had my own business as well as a director. But as soon as um, social media was a thing, I kept playing about with it and I kind of had my um, sales head on. So before I did recruitment, pretty much every job that I had was a sales job. So telesales I've done. I've sold everything pretty much like you know, you know, I probably sold it. So I started off working in a pizza place, um, but then obviously moved into different sorts of telesales and so even like selling windows, all sorts. Um, but then I moved in, into recruitment. But as soon as social media came out, um, obviously Facebook was one of the first ones that I was that, that I was on. I used to really love um, messing about. I'm the kind of person that if there's a button to press, I'll press it to see what happens. So, um, you know, I just give anything a go. I think, oh, what, what's going to happen with that? If, 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 if I push this, what will happen? So when lives were a thing on Facebook, I was one of the first people to do lives because I saw that you could go live and I pressed the live button and went live. Um, and I think that was like over three years ago now. Um, but obviously at the time it was like, oh, it's like having your own TV show and it scared people. Um, but uh, and so even in my recruitment business, I still ran, I ran, um, I helped clients with LinkedIn. So I, I, ran, link, I ran LinkedIn classes for clients back um, in when I had my recruitment business. But I knew I just didn't want to stay stuck in a job where I was at a desk nine till five, even though recruitment's probably more like eight, I don't know, seven in the morning till nine at night. Um, so I was having to, so I was fortunate because I worked in recruitment part time when I had my, my daughter and then my son. Um, but I knew I didn't want to be stuck at a desk, but I didn't want to sure what I wanted to do. Um, so I started, I had a chocolate fountain hire business at one point. I started a property business, property sourcing. I uh, walked away from the recruitment business that I was in, which I'm so grateful that I did now because I can't even imagine trying to organize, work out like COVID-19 with having 20 staff and 300 temps. It would have been a nightmare. So I'm glad that I didn't do that. And I started up the Get Savvy Club. Um, it, how it ended up happening to start off with, it's myself and my our business partner called Anita. And we knew each other years ago because we, we used to go to on the school run together. So we used to pick our children up. Um, at the same, that's the only reason we knew each other, literally um, picking the kids up from school. Um, and we connected on Facebook, but didn't really know each other that well. And when she started her own business in marketing, she needed to network. And because she'd seen me everywhere doing lives and everything else, she reached out and said, can we have a coffee? I need to network. I don't know where to start. So I said, yeah, sure. 
I met up with her and had a really good um, sort of chat. And I said, try this meeting, try that meeting. But then inevitably, we kept bumping into each other. And we were like, you know what? Our skill sets really match. So obviously, I, I've used okay. social media in all my other businesses. She's got the st strategic marketing side. I'm also connected to a lot of people. And I'm also like, um, you know, just uh, quite good on the sales side. So we're like, oh, we'll do a project. So Get Savvy Club was only ever going to be a project where we could um, deliver social media coaching online. But it's grown into so much more. So now we have, um, so it's, it's we haven't even been going a year yet either. So we've got uh, our academy, which is a membership site where people pay on a monthly basis to be a part of. It has a Facebook group, but also, um, I don't know if you've heard, you, you have, obviously, Kajabi. We've got that on Kajabi with the courses, um, with the programs and things. And then we have a 90-day program, which is our flagship one, which is Get Savvy Clients, where people can literally come to us, learn how to attract clients using social media in less time. Um, and then we do one-to-one -one strategy call sessions for people as well on Zoom. So, And now, actually, both of us don't do the other things that we did. We just all in on Get Savvy Club. So, yeah, that's our, our main thing. And our, what our plans are is, um, you know, we just want to help people get over the fear of using social media and getting out there and being able to grow their businesses effectively by using social media. So, yeah, that, that, that that's just in a nutshell, I guess. I thought you'd gone then. You were just leaving me to it. <laughs> No. Yeah, so that, yeah, so that that's that's my story. Yeah, that's great, really great. So when when kind of people get together, right? So when there are a lot of times we we need people who can uh, gel up together and then do a job and then make up to something big. So that's really yeah, great. definitely. So, I couldn't have done the, I couldn't have had this business on my own. I don't know how people do, but I think I I I, I definitely know what my own skills are, and I definitely know what I lack as well. So. I'm quite um, loud, busy, yet chaotic. So whereas Anita can sort of go, no, we're concentrating on this thing, remember? <laughs> so I don't yeah. go like, you know, all of that. But then you do need your ideas, people. You do need your people that go, you know, have. So I'm like pulling her along and she's like pulling me back. But it, it makes for us probably going at the right sort of pace, if that makes sense. Yeah, you definitely need someone to guide you and help you and to share some and to learn and grow. Exactly. Yeah. And we have we're very so, different, but we've got the same vision, which makes it and we've got the same work ethic as well. So we don't like go, oh, it's Friday at five o'clock. That's it. Stop. We'll start back up on nine o'clock on Monday. We, we're not those people. We've got um, very similar work ethics. Where we'll, we'll get the work. It's about getting the job done, not about how much time it takes or when. And if we want the Wednesday afternoon off, we have Wednesday afternoon off. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of. So we are similar like that because we have children the same age. Well, similar ages as well. So we we. We want to grow our business, but not to the detriment of being, um, you know, par like good parents. So I'm, I'm happy for it to grow slower um, and a more sustained, you know, don't get me wrong, I want to grow the business as quick as possible, but I still want to be a mum as well. So I don't want to do like 200, hour, like 200 hours a week in the business and not see my kids. So it's a balancing act, really. So first thing, uh, you know, most people are not aware of social media as of, you know, marketing thing going on. Like, there are a lot of, you know, places where around the globe, there are a lot of social media and social media marketing going on. But as in India, let you know, that their social media is not pronounced or not pronounced so much that it is globally uh, taken into consideration. So can you say about what is social media and social media marketing? So that we will get to know like what is uh, social media marketing in a, in a global scale so yeah so basically social media marketing we all have social media so if, if you've got facebook if you've got any of the platforms if you're on link of we're connected on linkedin aren't we so and instagram now but so instagram facebook linkedin these are all social media marketing platforms that you can go on just for fun or just to stay connected to friends family or whatever but it is actually a fantastic business tool to get um, to market your business so that more people know about you. So um, all marketing is literally all marketing is getting people through the door and using social media is fantastic because you can do it it's completely free as well. Yeah, you can pay for Facebook ads or Instagram ads or TikTok ads even or, um, you know, 
you can pay to get more reach, but you can just do it organically. And you can just literally show up, press live on your Facebook and the world can, can see you and you can build your audience up and build your tribe up so that people get to know, like, and trust you a lot faster than they ever did before. So using social people that businesses that are not using social media um, to attract clients are missing a trick. So yeah, social, all marketing is, is getting people through the door. All sales is, is getting people to buy your stuff. So if you're just a little shop, somewhere um and you don't have social media only the people that walk by the shop are, are going to know about it or maybe if you put some flyers through some doors they might know about it but if you have that shop and then you um talk about that shop on social media people that don't walk by your shop will be aware of your shop and make the effort to come and see you so we just helped um a guy actually obviously with coronavirus he he had a boutique like a fashion shop so he helped people um with styling and all stuff like that in Birmingham, which is uh, not far from us. And he, um, yeah, not far from us in Birmingham. And obviously when coronavirus hit, he had to shut the, sh the actual physical shop down. But he started doing more online. And about three weeks ago, he opened up his shop. He had all the regulars went back that knew him already. But then he has a whole load of new clients that would never have known of him if it wasn't for LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. And because he's got himself out on there, all the online stuff, he's actually got more people coming into the shop now because of his online work. So it's... um. If, if you've got a business and you're not using it, it's really important to um, think about how, how you can use it. In um, uh, where we, cause we're, um, yeah, the business is based in London, where I'm actually based in Leicester. I don't know if you've heard of Leicester, um, but it's in the middle of England. And uh, we have had the worst lockdown. Like, basically, we had lockdown uh, for coronavirus and then the whole of the UK could start getting back to normal, but not Leicester uh, because we were a hotspot. So even though like I hardly know anyone that's had it, but um, so now uh, myself and my business partner, Anita, are going to be helping um, Leicester businesses get back on their feet with some free webinars, um, you know, so that they can learn this stuff. Because if you don't get on with it and, and learn, if you don't know, you don't know. Um, but if once you know how to use it and it's, it's really easy once you get into it, but obviously if you've never really used it, there's a big kind of block of like no i'm not interested it's like when the internet came out people were like no i'm not buying things off the internet it's not safe but obviously everybody buys stuff off the internet now even if it's just that they buy off amazon once in a while so it's the same with social media embracing it's really important exactly so that's great so when people reach out to people so uh, as you said i know social media codes or basically any business so what are the challenges that you face when people are not aware of social media as you know when the internet came out as you you know mentioned earlier uh, you know they are not ready to buy online and they are they are not ready to buy it trustworthy online so what is the challenges that you face when you meet clients or you explain to them that social media is a great platform to sell your product expand your uh, you know revenue or expand your growth you know such sort so what kind of challenges that you uh, face when you know dealing with those kind of clients yeah well we're we're quite lucky really because we practice what we preach so we say um to use social media to attract clients to you so more often than not when people approach us they already know that they want to work with us because they've already got to know like and trust us from seeing us on social media so we don't really have those barriers what i would love to know though is how i can reach those people that aren't on social media to make them understand because that's i've got to do it in a I've, I want to help those people probably more because they don't understand it. But I guess the biggest challenge is that, that we face in terms of helping people or people using social media um, to attract clients. I mean, we're, we're fine. We use it and people come to us all the time. But our clients is fear of getting. Um, so there's usually three reasons. Fear of getting judged. So they worry that what what people might think of them. So pe there will be people that are watching this now that are thinking you're incredibly brave because you've got your own YouTube channel and you're speaking to me. I'm incredibly brave because I'm here talking to you, but it's just a conversation. But there's lots of people out there that would never dream, would just never do this. They would never do it. They're just too scared. So it's normally that people are fear of getting judged to, to actually get out and do it. Uh, perceived lack of time. So they think that they don't have time because they're so busy in their business anyway. They think, how on earth am I going to run a Instagram, you know, uh, set up and run Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn. I'm just not going to have time. And the other thing is um, content, not knowing what to put out there. So they're the three challenges that our clients pretty much always face. And even when people go through our 90 day flagship program that we have, they kind of get a bit, um, you know, we, we obviously say you need to do video now and people panic about the video. But actually, once they've done it, they love it. And 
people get to um, really get to know people just from a video because it's far more impactful than any kind of post could ever be because it's a real it's a real person. We love to just speak to real people. So there are our main challenges that we have to try and overcome and help people with, especially like time as well. People are not thinking they've got time when you, you, are, you have, you have got time. You've just got to prioritize it. It's like saying you haven't got time to look at your finances in your business. Well, you make time, don't you? Because finances are really important. Well, I would say, and Gary V would say now, uh, social media is just as important for your business as the finances. They're just as important because if you haven't got a social media presence, you almost don't exist. And what's helped us actually, funnily enough, is the coronavirus because people have realised we were perhaps on the to-do list, something what they needed to get around to doing at some point. To all of a sudden thinking, wow, we've got to prioritise that now because we, we want to make sure we've got you know our social media done because how are we going to because you need to communicate with your clients now or your your customers. Um, and it's harder than ever because obviously no one can walk into your, you know, if, if your place is still shut, no one can walk in and find out what's going to happen. People want to know that the place that they're going to go is safe and they've got all the things put in place that they need to. They, they want to know that it's even open because half the time we don't know if the places are open or not, do we? Exactly. So mm -hmm. sometimes you no know, business face those kind of situations exactly like as you uh, know, finance is as important as you know, marketing and our social media presence exactly so do you recommend you know for a small business like kind of a startup thing is social media uh, you know marketing kind of a thing will boost their uh, you know revenue or boost their presence and you know, when they're just starting off just yeah uh, when you just starting entering. it's probably more important than ever oh thanks for the tiktoks guys and sending me free gifts on tiktok um yeah it's more important than ever when you have a start still because it's probably the most exciting time for you and you've got so much that you can share. So when you're a startup, you can be documenting on social media exactly what you're doing. So if you're on Instagram, you can go on the stories and be talking about, hey, I'm, do I'm doing this really interesting thing today, or um, I've just bought this, or this is where I'm at. People can really, they love to be on the journey and know the story and understand and get to know you. So documenting what you do on social media at the start of your startup is um, a great way to do it. Okay, fine. So you know, business is essentially when social media is booming right now. And do you think that this is the right time to jump into social media since everyone is you know, expecting to be online or everything is expected to be online since we have yeah, this you, pandemic and lockdown? Yeah, you've got to you've got to get on it. It's not it's not really an option. You can't just yeah, you, you have to be on social media. It's not an option to not be. Um, so we we say just get get on. You don't have to be on all the. Pro There's too much to expect to be, especially if you're if you're new to it. You don't have to set up every single platform, you know, because it's going to blow your mind. It's going to be too overwhelming to go from doing no social media to doing like you know Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, um, LinkedIn. What what we say is depending on what your business is, everybody should get on LinkedIn without a doubt. Um, and then maybe do Facebook with it or maybe do Instagram with it, whichever one you, you fall towards. But, you know, really get good at one of them, I'd say, first, one or two of them. And don't worry about the rest of them. Maybe have a presence on there, but don't you don't have to be on there all the while. OK, great. Exactly. So another thing is that uh, what is you know, different strategies for, you know, physical, uh, you know, maybe products, physical products in the sense. Uh, there are a lot of products out there and software products. Let's say if a company is developing, you know, kind of web application where you, uh, you know, tech kind of related. So what you, what, there is a different strategy or you use the same strategy for both, you know, physical products as well as, you know, the software thing goes in. Yeah, I'd still, I would still go on LinkedIn. I'd still get your own personal profile set up on LinkedIn, no matter what your business is. So whether you're a coach or you've got a physical business or you, you're creating something or it's a tech business, still get on LinkedIn because we have, we've taught people that say like they're a photographer and we had one guy who was a photographer and he said, oh, I do really well on Facebook and Instagram. I don't need LinkedIn. I actually tried LinkedIn and LinkedIn is his favorite now. So we'd say, still get on LinkedIn regard regardless. I mean, if you've got a product and you're pushing, it's not about your personal brand or you really don't want to be the face. I mean, it's always best to try and be the face of the brand if you can or have someone be in the face of the brand because we know, like, and trust individual people more. And if you're not the face of it, people think that you're hiding something. So you're probably best off owning it and being the face of it than not. And if you think about, like, how we feel about, like, Richard Branson, for example, 
Um, Richard Branson, you might like him, you might not, but you know who he is because he's out there. Whereas Mark Zuckerberg, we don't, he doesn't put himself out there. So we don't know like his personality because he doesn't show it and he's not, you know, he, he's not, everybody knows Mark Zuckerberg started it and it's, it's his, Facebook is his, but we don't know him. And because we don't know him, we don't trust him. You know, like it's that kind of, because he doesn't put himself out. So it's actually better to be your, the face of the thing that you're doing uh, rather than not. But if you really don't want to and you, you know, you're behind product, then I'd stick to Instagram. If it's a physical box product that you can actually buy, then Instagram build up to, to 10,000, then you can have the swipe up options. You can work with influencers that can that can sell your product for you rather than you having to be the face of the brand. So with products, it can be a little bit different. Yeah, great. So when it comes to a marketing thing, do you just spending on Facebook ads and other kind of ads, Google ads maybe, uh, or try to get organic people or try to build your own organic results? So what do you think is the best uh, way to do it? I think it depends on which business, what type of business type you are. Um, but um, I would say try organic first because you want to know that this thing works and that people are really interested in it because you can easily spend a lot of money on Facebook ads and it, and it might not work. So, But for scale, once you've got something that works, for scale to, to build it, Facebook ads are great. So we have start. We do use uh, Facebook ads in our business, but we've got lots of organic um, people in our world already. So we just need to find people that are similar to that to come to us. So we can do like a lookalike sort, sort of thing on Facebook ads. But we're still testing on that. We haven't actually spent a lot, but you, you can use it. But I'd say, I'd say try to go for your organic first um, because they're your true fans because they are, you know, they haven't stumped, they haven't been gamed into following you. But they want to follow you because they've seen something that you're doing and they are genuinely interested or influence marketing so on if you can find someone that aligns really well with your business on instagram and you know ask them to to work with you and collaborate with you that that's really good too yeah. business you you never know which business will work out on what kind of model uh, will work out in the world and you have some idea you have to revamp things around mm -hmm. and if you don't get organic results you revamp everything you revamp your business model and products and mm -hmm. then again you go hit the market and then new things you do yeah things just keep testing them. yeah it's, everything's a test and i think people are so see i'm not afraid to fail whereas a lot of people are afraid to fail and that's where they go wrong because they want it to be right first time and it's not i guarantee you it's not going to be right first time so they overthink about getting it perfect first time instead of thinking oh it's going to fail anyway so let's just get on with it and get failing fast and you know then we can test that didn't work so we'll do less of that didn't work let's do less let's do more of this that is working uh, but people get kind i think that's the thing about becoming adults i think the older you get the more like that you become, the more scared you are to test stuff. Whereas I don't seem to have lost that ability to just keep testing stuff and not caring if it you know works or doesn't work. Yeah, really. When you test things out and you again, uh, you know, reinvent yourself and reinvent the product, and then you hit the market again. So yeah. then, uh, last you know, few questions, and then we will ramp up this thing. So, what are the struggles? There are a lot of people who are facing some struggles when getting started with social media marketing. So, uh, within getting your help. So, as a social media coach, you have seen a lot of people, and you have lo seen a lot of clients. So, what kind of advice that you give to your client to, you know, boost their, uh, you know, product or maybe the service? Um, in terms of like their confidence, or do you? what do you mean like yeah it's kind of that yeah so for them to be confident to get out there and market themselves and their products and things um i think the best advice that we've got is we have we're obviously our business is called get savvy club and we have a concept called um our savvy self so you know people in marketing always write down what their ideal client is so you create a whole avatar around the ideal client, don't you? Even maybe give them a name or you say what their hobbies are. or So you have this ideal client and then everything that you market is going to be at your ideal client. And that's pretty much all marketing. They say to do that. Well, we have a concept which is called Savvy Self, which is where you do the same process, but for you personally. So how, like, what, what do you want to be like? Um, and write down all the characteristics of what you want to be like. So do you want to be brave? Do you want to be somebody that's confident? Do you want to be somebody that acts this way or that or whatever it may be? Write all the characteristics down and have them next to you, literally next to your laptop or phone or wherever you're going to go live. Um, and then before you put a post out or before you do a live or before you go out to the world, 
remind yourself of your savvy self and it's almost like putting your armor on to go out yeah. because your savvy self doesn't care if you might get the odd troll because you're doing it for your business and we often have people say like oh i feel like i'm showing off if i'm talking about yourself no you're not doing it for you you're doing it for your business and why you, you've got to keep saying and so what and so what and so what and keep asking yourself the question why and you'll get to the, the reason you know it's not about you showing off which is why you've turned up it's because you want your business to do well. well. Why do you want that? I want my business to do well because I, I want to earn more money. Or why do you want to do that? I want to earn more money because I want a bigger, nicer house. Why do you want that? Because I want my children to have a better upbringing than I had. Do you know, like, so you just keep asking why, 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 why? Um, and that will just remind yourself of why you're here and why you're doing things. So when you have a slight fear of, oh, I don't, you know, I, I'm a bit scared about going, to, you know, so, talking to Santosh today, or I'm a bit worried about, you know, doing the, doing this video or I'm worried about this you kind of think right I'm going to read these these characteristics I'm going to put my savvy self armor on and I'm just going to go out to the world anyway because my why is this thing right right at the end does that make sense so that's one of the key teachings that we process is one of the steps that we go through on our um 90 day program is all all around that part and people kind of go wow all I've ever been told is to work out my ideal client instead of working out who my ideal self is and what I want to become and it might not even be who you are now and it's not about you lying and saying you're something you're not but it's about who you want to tr truly become and where you where you want to get to and working taking steps towards that yeah thanks a lot thanks a lot for uh, that advice to what you could do to the clients that was great so thanks a lot thanks a lot for uh, joining in with us today Uh, thank you yeah, can i shout out i've got a um we uh, get savvy club have a free um content master class that we're running tomorrow evening so it'd be great if you guys you know if anybody wants to come along to that i can give you the link if you like um yeah. and then you can put it in here or i can give you a link to uh, um and our website as well and or yeah. they can join they can find us on get savvy club uh, it's just tomorrow that's it's going to be eight o'clock so my time so that's like five i think i'm five and a half hours ahead of you uh behind you so it's going to be a bit late for people to to watch it where you are but they can they can register and then we can send them the replay or whatever we can send them through the replay but i'll, I'll send you the link to that yeah sure we can we can do that we will post it uh you know with uh being creators talk show so that you get a lot of people out there in the world So thanks a lot uh, thanks a lot for joining in with us thank you for having me yeah so uh, we have you uh, know uh, we have some questions kind of for okay. so can you see the you uh, know comments uh, Hang on, Anna? Me. oh yeah i've got it on private chat oh yeah hi anna hope you're safe amidst the covid can you suggest some essential social media tools um when you say tools what do you mean by tools i think um the most obviously the most important thing for me personally is i apart from when i do talks like this or i go on stream yard for my business get savvy club i do everything on my phone so for me i think it's so much like for example linkedin is easier to use on your phone so get all the apps downloaded on your smartphone that's you know that's not obvious to me but so many people don't do it so they feel that social media is a chore because they have to go switch their laptop on get on it and actually no if you get used to using it on your phone you're never going to have to do that you just you can, if you're bored and the adverts come on the tv or your i don't know your husband's watching something and you don't want to watch that you can go for a few minutes and create a post and and stuff if you've got it on your phone so that's in terms of tools getting them all on your apps on your phone but if you mean something else by um tools just to ask me and I'll answer but yeah i think having everything on the apps is the most important thing so i think uh, she may be referring to tools like seo tools or you no know, keyword tools which can help boost the business oh okay yeah that's probably sits more in like digital marketing rather than the social media coaching that that we do um but i I'd say obviously getting your Facebook pixel um onto your website is really a great thing to do because then you you're going to be able to know who's visited your website, know who's where and, and retarget people. Um but we don't do digital marketing. We do more of the uh, organic like teaching you how to how to use social media to attract clients to you organically um rather than the SEO side of things. So um when it, when you're saying about tools in that respect I couldn't I couldn't say to you like about google adwords or anything like that yeah it was uh, 
i think uh, that answered the question so thanks thanks a lot for anna for joining in with us today so hope you enjoyed the show as well and uh, yeah. thank you guys for joining in as well yeah thank you for everyone for joining in and uh, yeah come follow us on uh, we're always already connected on linkedin aren't we so yeah if anybody wants to connect on any of the social medias that they can do just jump on if you're interested in the content masterclass uh, where we're going to go through i think it's 21 different post types that we're going to be talking about so if they want to join us on that they can do as well and then you know like uh, later in the uh it, later excitingly later on this month we're going to be launching our podcast so i have to i'll have to let you know nearer the time when the when the date is going to be but the podcast should be good yeah please let us know the dates so that uh, we can also join in and we can learn something yeah. thanks thanks a lot for that so Brilliant. thanks a lot uh, for guys joining in for this week's talk show so see you guys next time until then take care bye bye thank you very much bye bye bye